What is going on, y'all? It is Farncast here. Hopefully, you're having a great and wonderful day out there in the wasteland. Friends, today we're going to be talking about farming ammo out there in the wastelands of Fallout 76, especially after this patch for Season 13, where they nerf some stuff and they buff some stuff. So, y'all, if you enjoy this type of content, make sure to hit that subscribe button, that bell notification icon, and drop us a like. Let's get in here and talk about it, y'all. Starting with something amazing, BGS updated the amount of contextual ammo that can be found in containers around the wasteland and also from enemies that you put into faint status. So this means that depending on your build and weapon of choice, you may never have to craft another piece of ammo again out there in the wasteland or feel that you have to go into a daily op to farm some ammo. Now a moment of silence for Lucky Hole Mine, the place we all love to go to get lead ore. I mean, let's be real, you can still get around 180 lead ore, which is absolutely amazing to make ballistic ammo out there in the wasteland, but it used to be that you could walk away with about five or 600 lead ore in one single run. We're still waiting to hear if this is the intended effect for Lucky Hole Mine and gathering ore out there in the wasteland. Now, in getting ready to craft unrefined gunpowder, you have two options. Either you can go get the materials yourself, or you can go with option B. You need acid and cloth to make gunpowder. And while there are acid nodes out there in the wasteland that you can put an extractor on, you can also go to Toxic Larry's Meat and Go, Pylon V13, and the Flooded Train Yard to get waste acid off of Snallygasters that have fainted. The next thing you're going to be looking for is cloth. Now, this can be found plentiful throughout the wasteland, but one of my favorite ways to get it is doing collision course up at Morgantown Airport because not only will it drop 100 pre-war money that will will turn one to one into cloth, but there will be scorch that spawn in so you can use scrapper again to get more steel and more components. Now option B to crafting your own gunpowder is going to do West Tech runs because not only will this net weapons, ammo, and XP, they sometimes will also drop unrefined gunpowder. Now when crafting ammunition in Fallout 76, there are two perk cards that you need to have on your loadout. The first one being Ammo Smith at level 2, which gives you the ability to produce 80% more rounds when crafting ammunition. The second is super duper at level three that when you craft anything, there is a 30% chance you'll get double results. Now there is another perk card that I would love for you to have on your loadout, but it is a legendary card and I know how troublesome it can be to fully level those up. This card is called Ammo Factory and fully leveled up, it will allow you to produce 150% more rounds when crafting ammunition. And let's not forget the ammo converter that can be bought from Mortimer with the Raiders for 1200 150 gold bullion as long as the friendly status is met but you can also find this item with minerva for 938 gold bullion when she has it on sale and while i don't mind making my own ammo personally for me it's a lot more fun to do this next option friends i'm talking about daily ops and expeditions now uplink is going to be your best bet because all of the enemies come to one central location and remember if you're farming ammo you do not have to get it done by eight minutes you can just sit there and let as many enemies spawn in as the instance will allow what i like to do is go into daily ops with a group of friends and run it four times that way we can cycle out who needs what ammo for what force multiplier we're using at that time the amount of ammo that you can have dropped to you doing a daily op or an expedition is absolutely amazing on top of the fact that you get xp from doing these events and the enemies killed plus legendary drops now if you're looking to farm fusion cores or plasma cores in their normal form or their ultra sight form you won't get these to drop off an enemy while you're doing the daily op or the expedition but just before you finish the instance make sure to swap over to a force multiplier that uses those because at the end of the event you're going to get a couple of cores unless they change it let me know what you think about this in the comment section below also if you have any questions or suggestions please leave them below as well i try to respond to every single comment thank you so much for watching this video and i'd love to thank our channel members frugan just jake herb cross blood sebastian nova prophet dreamy houdini zach crm jesse blaze Matas, i go bud cranberry relish gravy train bay i am mr me not you quinn indy andy petty warfy warren blake coma patrick chewy randy nerdy chick da go humdog yegar bond purple nick alex little squishy super loki shane frogs bp yanko abstractor fire dell that one justin darth stark one low jakey the memes jack luchi mitchell j allen daniel wolf and potus thank you so much for supporting us out here in the wasteland y'all have a great and wonderful day 
and we will catch y'all in the wasteland later, friends. Peace, y'all.